Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little speed comparison here between some similarly priced handsets. We do have the new Asus Zenfone 5Z, and I wanted to compare with the OnePlus 6, Honor 10, uh, Nokia 7 Plus, and the Galaxy A8 Plus. Uh, so all of these could be considered like your open mid-range to budget flagship, and I wanted to see, you know, which uh, manufacturer is giving the most value for money here in mid 2018? So we're just going to start showing all up at the same time here and see if uh, there's any differences. So we'll just try this on all of them and uh, we'll see how it gets on. So power buttons located and I think. Uh, we can try and do this. Three, two, one. Let's go. So A8 is still suffering from a mystery illness here, but uh, I think the oh, Zenfone very fast there. Boot up. Followed by one plus six on a ten, and then A8, and then Nokia Seven Plus. Now they're all up to date in terms of software, so I'm quite surprised actually uh, that the stock kind of build didn't boot up first. But yeah, you know, we're very nice start here from the ASUS. Let's see the uh, Antutu here. So we're just going to run this 3D benchmark and stuff, see how the GPUs compare. Snapdragon 845, uh, Kirin 970, 845, 615 I think, or 25 or something. More mid-range and this one is an X and 07 series mid-range. So let's go. And we will go through this uh, quite quickly, skipping through it. But straight away you can see here some big differences in terms of the, the graphical. There's a OnePlus crashed. And the A8. Is it finally conked out? Like it's had enough. We'll see if we can revive it. <laughs> Probably too hot for it to do this test. Uh, One plus six as well. That took ages to actually start the test here. But when it does get going, you can see it's quite smooth in comparison to the others. Very strange though, this one. Just hold the power button down, that usually works. I don't think the Galaxy A series is built that well. I mean, compared to the S series at least, you get these issues, you know, when you do the test. So I think the A8 is finally conked out here. Oh no, it's coming back on. Better late than never. So in terms of this test, you can see, I think the Zenfone is well out ahead here, very nice and smooth. And uh, I think it's followed by the Honor 10, which is also quite good. Uh, 7 Plus is struggling, struggling a little bit here in terms of the graphical. I think the smoothest definitely goes to the One Plus though. I mean, look at that. That's really nice and smooth. Can we get this going? You definitely need to use a more high-end kind of chip for the next year, Galaxy A series, because again, getting left behind here, I think, overall.
and it crashed again. Yeah, you see. I can hear it unlocking in that. It just doesn't seem to light Antutu. <laughs> so I'm probably going to skip the Antutu for this phone because it just doesn't like it at all. Start it up again. So this test is very in-depth here, you can see showing you all the graphical. Let's get uh, the Geekbench ready on this one. Should fare okay with that one. Uh, so we're just going to skip to the end here, see who wins the Antutu. So they're doing the browser test at the moment, as you can see, uh, which is uh, very nice and smooth on all of them. I don't think the, there's many differences there, uh, really. I do think that the screen on the OnePlus 6 and the Zenfone are probably equally as good. On a 10, Nokia 7 Plus, uh, a little bit average and the A8 Plus very nice screen in itself and we do have a winner here so you can see uh, Asus again out in front 271,678 uh, versus your 203,606 on, on a 10 and we do have the OnePlus 6 lagging behind here it did take a while for it to get started for some reason uh, but I'm guessing this score will be about the same as the Zenfone, hopefully. And the 7 Plus is also finishing up here. 141,955. So you defeated 70% of users, uh, which is most users. And again, we have a delay here when it comes to the OnePlus 6, uh, when it comes to announcing the result, which is uh, quite strange. Uh, but when it does get there, you can see 289,000 uh, defeating 99% of users. So way out in front there in terms of the actual score. So that is pretty awesome. Uh, let's just also check out the... Uh, Geekbench here, so we do have it installed on all of them, and you can have a look at the hardware as well. So let's go. Yes, I do want you to run OnePlus. Okay, it just doesn't want to run. Let's try that again. What is it with OnePlus 6 today? That is very strange indeed. Maybe it'll run in a minute or so. I mean, that is very weird. Okay, he just doesn't want to run then. Gonna have to sit that one out. So I gave it a restart and it's finally kicked into life here, uh, like 10 years later. So it will eventually finish. Uh, but you can see already here, I think the Zen phone is well out ahead again. Uh, leading the pack on a 10 just behind and the 7 plus and the A8 are about the same and we did get there in the end so you can see right at the finish we do have the uh, Zenfone with a very nice high score here 
2,366, uh, but you can't quite top the OnePlus 6 2,465 uh, with the very high multi-core score as well. So maybe that's the Zen UI, you know, holding it back a little bit, but still a very respectable score nevertheless on a 10, 7 plus, A8 plus coming a little bit behind there in terms of the benchmark. Uh, but uh, I think uh, really you can see here some very decent scores from the Zenfone comparing against its contemporaries. But if you're looking at it from a raw kind of benchmark perspective, then the OnePlus 6 obviously uh, gives you a little bit more, even if it does cost a little bit more. Uh, so do bear that in mind. Uh, so yeah, just a quick little video here. Hope you find it helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.